Hi everyone, uh, here we are in the pro shop today. Uh, the snow has cleared so the course is just open. But I'm going to do a quick video on four tips to improve your putting. So putting is one of the, probably the most important aspect of golf. Um, but people that put in consistently um, analyse the wrong aspect of it or analyse the wrong areas. One of the things I'm going to talk about is centre to strike. How important that is to maximising your performance with your putting. So a lot of high handicappers and amateurs that leave the putt shot um, hit putts that are out of, that miss the centre of the club face. When you miss the centre of the club face, um, that ex exacerbates the, the direction on the golf ball. You get a push, you get a, a pull, or you can get that putt that comes short as I just discussed. But um, the three things that are related to that are striking the putts out the toe, out the heel, or out the bottom of the club. So when you hit that at the bottom, um, the ball just comes up short. If you hit out the toe, there's a good chance you're going to pull it. If you hit out the heel, there's a good chance you're going to pull it off to the right. Obviously, it depends where you're aiming. But I would say poor, uh, putting is a, lo is a compact, um, low speed dynamics uh, technique. But it's important that you, it's much easier to create a more consistent technique with your putting and maximising your you're setting a strike because obviously putting it's only a short swing back and through it's, it's very timeless so what you need to understand is it's an easy proposition to cure so the first thing you want to talk about is having your hands ahead of the golf ball so it's important to have your hands ahead of the golf ball so from this angle so you need to have your hands slightly ahead towards your left eye that, that shaft plane will get your hands leading into impact so there's none of this where the club head's leading and the hands are behind, almost in a casting scoop, and the putter is almost rising before it's even reached its low point at. And another thing we want to talk about is keeping your head down. So when people uh, lift their head too early, they're very anxious. Their temp the temptation, they can't resist the temptation to look up where the ball has gone. But when you lift your head, you your shoulders pull up and the putt the putter's pulled offline, so if I, if I lift up out of the putt, the put, my arms are brought close in together, and also I feel that my shoulders open, so that you get, you get that, probably that in to out stroke, or it, as I say, it depends what way you swing it, there's a good chance that you're going to make contact off the bottom of the putter, so what you need to do is keep your head down for two seconds, focus on a point behind the golf ball, so we're not focusing on the golf ball, focus on the back of your putter, and then just feel the sensation of going back and through. Another thing we're going to talk about is flat left wrist. So the flat left, the flat left wrist is a good reference point to use for understanding the concept of hitting a straight putt and leading with the, the hands and impact. So a lot of people uh, use the right hand more, so the right hand is more active than not. So the right hand flips over the left hand. The left hand ends up in a cut position and the blade closes. So what you need to do is focus on that flat left wrist so if you flip the right hand over so from this angle your wrist ends up in a cupped position so almost in the palm it's so hard to release the club from there or release the putter through impact another one we're going to talk about is so what you need to do is practice with the target we're all too enamored to practice with target we're quite anxious when it comes to um, practicing we're very conscious when it comes to practicing with the target and also, it's very hard to maintain a good stroke, so we always feel a stroke isn't as fluid, so it's quite rigid. So I would suggest practice without a target. That'll free up your putting stroke and it'll become much more fluid. You'll understand the concept of how it feels. I mean, Tiger Woods, when he was playing, it's a completely different subject. When Tiger Woods was playing his best golf, he used to play holes in the dark, he used to hit putts in the dark to see how the putt felt. I mean, not everyone's um, de dedicated as that, but it's, it gives you sort of a platform to use to improve your putting and lower your score. So there's four tips to help increase your putting and increase your putting stats and lower your score. So hands ahead of the ball, head down, flat left wrist and practice without a target. That's probably one of the most important aspects of putting or four most important aspects of putting. So that's a quick video. So let me know what you think on the video and...
Mas Isra.